what's going on guys welcome back to another video hope all is well we have some breaking news out of colorado involving dj lundy the linebacker at florida state there's been a turn of events here he will not be transferring to boulder he decided to stay at uh, florida state so we're going to talk about it stay tuned guys please do me a favor before we get into this video please give us a like comment share and subscribe also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops all of that will be greatly appreciated by me all right so like i said there's breaking news here florida state it says had plenty of surprise exits during the recent ncaa transfer portal window the biggest was the departure of rising red shirt senior linebacker dj lundy who was primed to play an integral role in the 2024 season with Kalen DeRoach and Tatum Bethune graduating and beginning their professional careers. It seemed like Lundy was going after committing to Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes on Christmas Day. However, there now appears to be a growing chance that he'll finish his college career in garnet and gold, according to a report on On Three's Pete Nakos. Lundy has withdrawn from the transfer portal and is moving toward staying with the Seminoles. They went on to say that this could be an absolute massive turn of events for Florida State as the program is currently down to just six scholarship linebackers. The most experienced out of that group are redshirt sophomore Omar Graham Jr., sophomore Blake Nicholson, and sophomore Justin Cryer. Graham Jr. finished the 2023 season with 23 tackles and two tackles for a loss. Lundy appeared in 13 games with four starts during his redshirt junior campaign, totaling 54 tackles, six tackles for a loss, two sacks, one interception, and four pass deflections. He chose not to play in the Orange Bowl while exploring his future. Lundy been on the field for 380 plus defensive snaps during each of the past three years in Tallahassee. The Georgia native appeared in 45 games with 17 starts and totaled 183 tackles, 16.5 for tackles for a loss, five sacks, one forced fumble, eight pass deflections, and won interceptions throughout his four years with the Seminoles. He recorded a career-high six tackles for a loss, two sacks, and his lone interception at the college level in 2023. All right, so, yeah, that's a, a, a turn of events here. And uh, what could possibly be the cause here? He could have had some coaches in his ear to have him rethink his decision. Like, listen, you know, this is your last, this could be your last year eligibility. Or he might have two years left. I'm not sure, but they probably like, listen, you're going to a new program. You got to learn a whole new system. I don't know if it's guaranteed that you're going to start. They probably said a lot of these things to him to, to make him reconsider because that would have been a really good pickup for Colorado to have him start with the Buffaloes, but because he brings a lot of experience and, um, who knows? It could be a lot of things he'd been listening to at Colorado that could have changed his mind. You know, uh, transfer last year from Florida State, Bishop Thomas is now suspended from the team. Also, uh, Derek McClendon is uh, pursuing his NFL dreams. You don't know. Anybody could have talked to him. But this is definitely a blow in the recruiting and the transfer portal for um, Colorado. It's definitely a big blow because he could have he would have added a lot of help in stopping the run and also for in that linebacker position. But uh, yeah, DJ Lundy, man, he has withdrawn from the transfer portal. Guys, let me know what you think below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.